Thank you for joining me here at the Worthington Diamond Mine in southwest Arkansas, just a short distance outside of the famous Crater of Diamond State Park. I wanted to show you what things look like now. Uh, last fall we planted winter rye grass and fertilized it. Maybe you saw that video of uh, spreading all that after this was prepared. Um, it looks real good. The deer have been eating it all winter long. Our field used to look like this, just stumps and really unsightly mess. We have 10 acres here and about two acres we cleaned off real well and planted for the deer to eat and also the grass prevents erosion. Uh, what I'm doing now is tearing it all up. Um, it's a shame, it's hard to do, it's so beautiful that lovely green, but I'm disking it because winter rye will die in June and it'll just be brown grass and I need to replace it with something and this is April and that's planting season and we need to plant something else so how does a guy without a tractor plow and disk like that? Well. I have a Ford F-150 plow. <laughs> you use what you got. But I bought this disc at a farm auction years ago and have used it off and on. And I just fixed it up where it would hook to the trailer hitch. And these blades go through and cut the soil and uh, turn it around in preparation of planting chicory. This... Um, the deer love this, and this is called Chick Magnet. I'm really honored they named it after me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> anyway, when you buy a, a three pound bag, you think, oh, that's not bad. 40 bucks, do an acre with three pounds of seed, and you think that's all there is to it until you read the fine print on the back, and it tells you what you must do to plant this seed. You can't just go out here and toss it like the ryegrass sat on top of the ground and made its own roots and did well. The chicory, they say specifically on the instructions, do not skip this step. And they said you needed to put 500 pounds of lime on the field and 550 pounds of triple 17 fertilizer and then after you put that on there you have to disc it in so that's what i'm doing with the disc is cutting through the top few inches of dirt and turning it over yesterday i took a walk behind spreader you'd use for a lawn and walked all over this place for four and a half hours spreading fertilizer and the lime. Then this morning I got the disc hooked up and I've just been running in circles here. It um, turns the fertilizer and lime into the soil and it also cuts through the grass because if you had the seeds come up the grass would choke it out. Well, I want the chicory to grow because pretty soon all this is going to be dead. And this is all mine maintenance, really. This is what we have exposed here, this part of the mine now. Um, this is all diamondiferous. This is our lamperite. And we exposed it. You can see there was some overburden and we removed about three feet of clay off of the top of here and this is sat all winter i haven't dug or processed anything so this has just sat and been snowed on and rained on and we could see a diamond on the surface here i mean nice surface searching conditions because no one else has been in here this is very hard soil this is really solid and I'll need a excavator to dig it up scratch it up and pile it um, loaded in a truck so I can haul it nearby to be processed 
we probably won't be doing any excavation or mining here for a while because I have a bunch of material stored up. Uh, when we do, we'll bring an excavator in and set on this pad and back a dump truck up here on this gravel road and park it there and then load it with the excavator. <clears throat> but you can see how tall this winter ryegrass is and it's done a good job all winter but now we're gonna have to replace it with something chicory that will survive the summer. Uh, a lot of times it gets very hot and we kind of experience a drought and the chicory is drought resistant and the deer just love it. So <clears throat> for a guy who doesn't have a tractor and doesn't want to mow that field and I don't want weeds to grow up, the thing to do is since I don't have a herd of goats, is uh, plant something the deer like to eat, and then when it grows up, they'll keep it mowed down for you. So I'm planning on planting the chicory here today. Oh, there's some nice gravel sitting right on top of the lamp right. That It's going to be interesting to dig that out and wash through it. This black you see uh, is a layer that sits on top of there. And uh, th this is all volcanic ore. There, you know, we could see a diamond gleam at us right here. Um, these are big chunks of lamperite that have sat here and weathered all winter. This used to be really hard, and now it's friable. It just breaks apart. You can see a clast in there of, uh, looks like Trinity clay. So that makes this a brescia because that is a an angular clast. And you can see the pieces of Trinity clay in this volcanic material. Anyway, these are very hard, solid rocks. And then you weather it all winter. Uh, moisture got in there and then it froze and broke. And now this really once solid rock can be broken up and processed, run through the diamond recovery plant. So fascinating stuff. This is that's Trinity clay there that got caught up in this. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what things look like now this spring. You can see that black layer on top and it's not necessarily flat. It dips down and every now and then it'll catch some gravel on the top. So we'll process all this for diamonds, but not until we run all the material that's already hauled up by the plant, which is only a little over a thousand feet from here, less than a quarter mile. Um, <clears throat> so we'll process all of that first and then get an excavator in here and load up more and haul it. But this will probably just sit for a while. Now all this field from way down past where I have the truck, all of this has lamperite under it. But we have overburden on it right now and we didn't want to spend the money with the excavator removing the overburden now because I have plenty of material to run. I want to run this first and get the diamonds out of it. Use my money for digging and hauling and washing and finding diamonds before we remove any more overburden and uh, chase more lamperite. So. Anyway, that's the way it's looking now in the spring, and I've got to get to work. I have to finish plowing this field, turning all that beautiful green winter ryegrass under because it's going to rain tonight, and I want to get it planted before it does. Thank you for joining me, and check back for updates on our Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas YouTube channel.